Hey Vinny, take a look. There are a bunch of art students out there. Hey friends, welcome. Glad you're studying my favorite subject. Hi, I'm Jack. Vinny, you and I are here to help you understand why studying art is important and how to be successful in art class. Let's go. What are the reasons for taking art class? If you like art, the answer is easy. If art has not been your thing, it may seem like something you might not enjoy much. But whether you are good at drawing or painting, or have trouble drawing a straight line with a ruler, the things you will learn in art will help you in your future endeavors, so keep an open mind. Besides the skills that an artist or designer would need, you'll also learn how creative people think. You'll learn to decipher visual language and analyze new information. You will learn to think critically and communicate your ideas in an organized way. You will learn about where artistic ideas come from and how they relate to society. No matter what you decide to do for a living, being able to think creatively and critically and communicate effectively will be essential skills you will need. You will not only need to be an active problem solver, but because the world moves so fast, you will need to come up with original ideas that have value for people. All these things we practice in art. Art is about ideas, and if we're going to study art well, we have to investigate how artists think. Each project we do this year will have an assignment to help you learn to analyze art and communicate your findings effectively. In this video, we are going to look at how to approach this type of assignment successfully. There is often no one right answer to the type of questions you will see. These assignments are designed to make you think and learn how to connect information. Each one of these assignments will start out like this. At the top of the page is a rubric. The rubric shows the criteria of how you will be assessed. Here you will see the scoring scale. The range of this scale is shows mastery through insufficient evidence. The criteria for each level can be seen here. For example, if you show mastery, it means you have a sophisticated understanding of the concepts being asked about. If you are approaching proficiency, means your responses show that you have some understanding of these concepts. When you complete the assignment and receive your score, you can check against the rubric to find out how well your responses showed off your understanding. This is also important to remember. Your teacher will not only score your assignment, but will also make some comments to show you how you could improve your answer. You can always revise your answers based on your teacher's comments and submit your assignment and the teacher will reevaluate it. It wouldn't make any sense to give comments if you didn't have the chance to improve your work based on those comments. Next, you will see the Resource Center. The Resource Center contains links to information that will help you write an effective answer to the question in the assignment. If you need some good words to describe art, you can follow this link. If you need some reminders about what the elements of art or principles of composition are, you can follow these links. If you are asked about the theme of an artwork, you can follow this link for some help on how to figure out the artwork's theme. Now let's take a look at the question itself. Of course, each question will be different to match the topic for each project. Generally, this will be the format in each assignment. Here we can see that the question is going to be about the form of the work. There are two artworks, so you can probably guess that you're going to be asked to compare them in some way. Below each artwork is the name of the artist which is also a link to a larger version of the artwork, so you can get a closer look. There will be some instructions telling you what to do. In this case, you need to complete the table below. First, you need to find a question to figure out what the question is asking you to do. Here you are being asked to describe the elements that make up the artwork. Describe means to tell about, but maybe you're not sure what elements means in relationship to art. Here you can click on the link and it will also take you to a definition. An element is part of any whole. So basically, this question is asking you to tell about the parts that make up the whole artwork. If I look back at the rubric, in order to score a 5, I need to show a clear understanding of what makes up the artwork. So, I'm going to want to be as precise as possible. There's even a hint to help me cover all the bases. I can see there is a pile of trash, mostly everyday items. 
At the bottom edge of the trash pile are two stuffed seagulls, which seem to be picking through some old french fries. A light shining on the pile of garbage casts a shadow on the wall, which shows a man and a woman relaxing, one smoking and one drinking wine. That's a pretty clear and thorough description. I'll do the same for the other artwork. Let's move on to part two. Here you're being asked to choose one of the two artworks and explain what you find interesting about it. Because it is asking me what I find interesting, I can assume there is no right or wrong answer. However, no matter what my response, I should make sure that it is written clearly and uses evidence from the artwork. That means I should make specific references to what I have observed in the artwork to support my opinion. The analysis assignments are meant to teach you about how to examine art and get you to think deeply about it. If you remember to do these five tips, you will be successful. Check the criteria for each level on the rubric. Make sure you understand what is being asked. Use the resource center if you need help. Follow the links to see a bigger picture of the artwork. Include evidence from the artwork in your responses. There is one more very important point. Ask your teacher for help if you're not sure what to do. That's what they're here for. Everyone can do these assignments successfully and receive a good mark in art if you follow our advice. You don't have to be amazing in art to start, but you have to start using good strategies to be amazing.